Hello and welcome to Prime News. Now look at the headlines. Only auction leases allowed for transfer, illegal mining to be cognizable offence with imprisonment and fine. Renewed leases valid till 2027. Blessed Joseph was to be declared a saint on 14 January. Churches to ring bells in the morning, rejoicing the good news. Govans overwhelmed. Sports Minister's homosexuality remark, CM covers up by saying it was ignorance, nothing abnormal with LGBTs, Tawarkar says media exaggerated issue. Congress yet to decide party stand on regional plan, a clash of opinion with leader of opposition. Congress demands rescheduling Panji by poll. And India's love for club football faces big test as I-League aims to attract ISL scale spectators. Salgaonkot Dempo and Sporting Club de Goa appeal for Goan fans. Now the news in detail. Renewed mining leases will be auctioned once their renewal period gets over in 2027. Only auction leases will be allowed for transfer after necessary permissions are taken from the state government. Illegal mining has been made as cognizable offence in the new mining ordinance. Ordinance also allows constitution of special courts for hearing illegal mining cases. Lease owners will have to contribute amount equivalent to royalty towards State Mineral Development Fund. Sources from Mines Department informed that 70 leases are now till 2027. President Pradam Mukherjee signed the much-awaited Mines and Minerals Ordinance 2015 on Monday. The new amended MMDR Act will have its implication on captive and non-captive mines. How this ordinance will make its impact on Goan mining? Let us see. Altogether, 114 working mining leases before mining ban in 2012. 336 leases were in Goa, out of which 150 cancelled by mine department. 90 leases were in operation before mining ban. Post-mining judgment by Supreme Court, more than 80 leases applied for renewals. More than 70 leases are now valid till 2027. Government can auction nearly 100 leases. Renewal of remaining leases is at discretion of state government. Leases will be auctioned once renewal period gets over. Now regarding transfer of leases. The mining companies which transferred leases before the implementation of this ordinance may face trouble. Only auction leases will be allowed to be transferred after necessary permission are sought from state and central government. Leases will be deemed accepted for transfers if state government does not decide on the matter within 90 days of the date of application. Now let us see how this new ordinance will make its impact on illegal mining. Ordinance allows illegal mining to be termed as cognizable offence with 5 years imprisonment and 5 lakh rupees fine per hectare for lessees violating law. Ordinance allows constitution of special court for hearing illegal mining cases with appointment of district and sessions court judges. High court will be the appellate court. Now, these clauses may burden the mines owners further. Ordinance allows constitution of district mineral foundation and national mineral exploration fund. Lease owners will have to contribute amount equivalent to royalty towards district mineral foundation and 2% of royalty amount towards national fund. Reporter Mahesh Ghadi for Prudent. With pealing of bells in the Catholic churches on 14 January at 9 am, Blessed Joseph Vaz will be declared as the saint by Pope Francis. Blessed Joseph Vaz is the first day saint from Goa. Blessed Joseph Vaz will be canonized in Sri Lanka on Wednesday. Jose Philip de Souza has demanded government to declare 14 January as a holiday, as it is a moment of joy and honour to Goans. Catholic churches in Goa will ring their bells in celebration on Wednesday, when Pope Francis will declare Blessed Joseph Vaz a saint in Sri Lanka, Colombo. Blessed Joseph Vaz will be Sri Lanka's first saint and the third of Indian origin to be conferred sainthood by the Vatican. Former Minister Jose Philip have demanded 14 January should be declared a holiday. Ya 
चौदा तारखेर जेना वो जान आसा एक वो दीस नशीबान तुम गवर्मेंटा कड़े डिमांड के चौदा तारखेर हॉलिडे डिक्लेर कर Goan sour in a cheerful mood with the news of blessed Joseph was being declared a saint. Banaulikars have been preparing for the great day of 14 January. Locals will be having a grand feast rejoicing the sainthood. Blessed Joseph was was born and baptized in Banaulim. He then traveled to Sri Lanka to spread the good word of Christ. He healed the lepers and sick. Jeva kami he ek ora bitor dilmast lao ya amcha bhagyon zalya जुजे वाजा पासो आनी तसोतीन मिसाची भेटीन किरपाशी आमची मागणी आणि देवात आमची घोष सो उभा केला रिपोर्टर सावियो डायस अँड दिशांत परब फॉर प्रुडंट Sports Minister Ramesh Tawadkar has sparked a row by saying that government plans to cure homosexuals and transgenders through medication. The statement has backfired on Tawadkar as media across the nation is giving it a wide and prime coverage. The matter has reached up to Delhi. Chief Minister while defending said that it was his ignorance. There is nothing abnormal with about LGBTs. Tawadkar says media hyped and made a controversy out of his statement. So in this case in the case of uh, लेस्बियंस एंड गेज समलैंगिक जिनका इंटरेस्ट है yeah. उसमें आप क्या करने वाले उनको वापस आई यू गोइंग गोइंग टू टू नॉर्मल उनका उनका नॉर्मल बनाने में उसका सेंटर भी बनाएंगे हाँ, हाँ, हाँ. इस तरह से एक देखें यानी एनिमल सेंटर होते हैं ना हाँ. इसी तरह से सेंटर उसको ट्रेनिंग देखे और उसका मेडिसिन इन सब सभी विषय पर हम कर सकते हैं हो जाएगा दिस स्टेटमेंट इज कॉट द बीजेपी ऑन द रॉन्ग फूड LGBTs all over India have strongly condemned Ramesh Tawadkar's stand on their community. Tawadkar says he never spoke on homosexuals and transgenders. He was speaking about alcoholic youth. Kya patrakaran? Main to electron mein to media person shilo. Mage sab taaje ki ne understanding ka ki ne maka khabar na. To main aaj hi pe aap jab jaate hain baat mein aaye ki samlingi केंद्र हम उबारतो अशा तरह की स्टेटमेंट अनेक पेपर ने आज मगे सर ये संविधान अत्यंत चुकी जो मैं जे एल जी बी टी चे समाज के लोग आसा ती भावना दुखो मजो बिलकुल हा सग गोष्टीत नाशि अर्थ नाशि Meanwhile national media gear out chief minister Lakshmikant Parsekar he said Tawadkar might have said something out of ignorance there is nothing abnormal about lgbts no sir your, well, your <laughs> minister has said that your, your minister has said that sir would you no. it, who mr tawadkar has said that yesterday what that uh, uh, that there will be medical uh, treated yes that the no, no. treatment will be cure he went off i don't say, i don't feel he will say that But he has wrong, said he has said that it could be ignorance. Then probably he he might have uh, thought of some other question. So what is the somewhere. government stand? This is not a policy. No, how, not how, a policy. What would be the government stand? It is a natural yeah. thing. State Congress also raised the issue. The minister has such a regressive mindset. I think that minister itself needs some treatment <coughs> because this LGBT community are normal people. They are just like you and me. The sexual orientation may be something else. That is a private and uh, personal uh, issue. You cannot have treatment for them. They are not. They are not sick people. Bureau report prudent. It's time for a short break. Stay tuned. <laughs>